In this video, we'll be reviewing all the major drug interactions you'll need to know for the Nalplex. Quick disclaimer, now although this video covers the majority of drug interactions, it is not an all-inclusive list. Starting off with enzyme inducers. This list of drugs decrease the amount of drug present when given with another drug. Just remember, the D in inducer stands for these drugs decreasing the amount of drug concentration. A good memory trick for these is by memorizing PS crops. This stands for P for pramidine, S for St. John's wort, C for carbamazepine, R for the drugs that start with rifa, like rifampin, O for oxcarbamazepine, P for pen phenytoin and phenobarbital, and lastly S for smoking. Moving on to enzyme inhibitors. These increase the amount of drug concentration present. A good memory trick for these is G Pac-Man, or if you want to think Pac-Man is a G, you know, a G. This stands for G for grapefruit, P for protease inhibitors, A for the azole antifungals, C for cyclosporin, colbistat, and cimetidine, M for the macrolide antibiotics, A for amiodarin, and N for non-DHP calcium channel blockers, like Diltazem and Verapamil. So long story short, for enzyme inhibitors, just remember Pac-Man. Now this applies to most of the drugs, but when these drugs are given with a prodrug, we want to think the opposite. Just think of prodrugs as the UNO reverse card. For example, when an enzyme inhibitor is given with a prodrug, the prodrug's active drug concentration will decrease as opposed to increase with normal drugs. Next, before we get into P-glycoprotein interactions, we need to know how they work. These work by transporting drugs out of the body by pumping them into the gut where they can then be excreted into the stool, aka when you go to the bathroom. When P-glycoproteins are blocked, the level of drug concentration will increase. A good memory trick for this is by remembering CIA or CCIA, you know, like the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. The first C stands for colchicine. The second C stands for cardiovascular drugs like digoxin, verapamil, and diltazem. The I stands for immunosuppressant drugs like cyclosporin and tecrolimus. And the A stands for anticoagulants like apixaban and rivaroxaban. Imiodarin has a couple of specific drug interactions. This is the case because it is an enzyme inhibitor, therefore it could increase the drug's concentration in drugs that have a very narrow therapeutic level. For example, imiodarin will increase the dose of warfarin, which will in return increase the INR. Due to this, we want to be very cautious when giving these drugs together. Same goes for digoxin. Therefore, we want to cautiously decrease the dose when these are given together. Moving on to valparate, which will increase the dose of lamotrigine when they are given together. This could lead to life-threatening skin reactions, therefore we want to make sure these drugs are not given together. Next, we have a major one, which are monoamine oxidase inhibitors. These are very old antidepressants, which were the first antidepressants to hit the market. These could lead to a condition called serotonin syndrome, which is when a patient has too much serotonin in their body. It will look like the patient has a loss of muscle coordination with confusion and lots of sweating. Due to this, we do not want to combine MAOOs with tyramine rich foods like salami, wine, and fermented foods, and other antidepressants such as SSRIs and SNRIs. Moving on, we have PDE5 inhibitors like sildenafil and tadalafil. These are mainly used for, you know what. A good memory trick to remember these is by remembering CAN. The C stands for CYP3A4 inhibitors, the A for alpha blockers, and the N for nitrates. A major drug-drug interaction that is high yield on the NAPLEX are the drug interactions between opioids and benzodiazepines. When given together, these could lead to life-threatening respiratory depression. Therefore, you want to be very cautious with these medications. <laughs> Lastly, we have drugs that are ototoxic, meaning they could lead to hearing or balance issues because they are very toxic for the ears. A good memory trick for these is by remembering the CVS in LA plays bad music. 
you get it? Because playing bad music is painful for your ears. The C stands for cisplatin, the V for vancomycin, the S for salicylates, the L in LA is for loop diuretics, and lastly, the A is for aminoglycoside. And that's all we have for major drug interactions. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and leave a comment on which subjects you would like to see next. Thank you. See you next time.